Hey, what's up, you people? Okay, today we're gonna talk with my friend from Israel. Yes, with Irina and yes. Let's connect. Hi. Hello. Oh. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Occasion <laughs> is so un unexpected, <laughs> unusual. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Whatever. You know. How are you doing, guys? Oh, it's uh, yeah, it's an experience. <laughs> right. More than anything. Um. Who? I was I don't in really China. Know. What I can say. <laughs> yeah, right? It's not China <laughs> anymore. Um, wow. I mean, let's wait a minute or two and let some more people join. Um, but how's things? Where are you now? You are San Francisco? No, Sacramento. Sacramento, huh? Yes. Nice. Sounds good. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. I don't even know where to start, to be perfectly honest. It's no. like just talk, there's you know. so many things it's it's you know you start talking about one thing and it takes you like in five different directions because there's so many things to talk about um so the biggest thing is i don't even genuinely i don't know where to start but one of the main things is that israel and the people in israel don't hate the palestinian people it's n like that's like number one there is no fight between Israel and the people in Gaza it doesn't that doesn't exist um, the fight is the between Israel's government and Gaza's government so it's got nothing to do with the people no oh sorry Do not, uh, is there... <laughs> oh, wait, whatever so the government uh, is Hamas over there and um, they are the ones who are kind of causing them the majority of of the problems and then it's getting blamed on Israel um, which I can understand why people Eldar we don't hate any of them um, <laughs> it's it's hard because it's getting blamed on Israel and if I was in America or in England or in any other country and I was seeing the same things that other people were seeing, I would probably feel the same way. Because the, all the media, what it's showing, it looks like Israel is the bad guy. Um, but it's, it's... I didn't see anything. <laughs> no, okay. what, are you, what are you watching? <laughs> I even don't know what you guys are talking about, you know, like I, I know what I know is just some rockets flew to them. Israel and that's it and yeah. next thing I know I'm like are you okay guys you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm I mean you, like are you okay and you're like oh no we're hiding in the shelters and I'm like oh, okay <laughs> that's what I, I know mean, you know so. yeah I mean it's a funny thing because we can't like we, it's, it's a serious situation but we can't take it so seriously or we'd like lose our minds you know it's one of those things where if you really focus on what's actually going on you you know you can't you can't live so we you know we're taking it not lightly but everyone's doing what they need to do if you need to go to a shelter you go to a shelter you you know you're being careful nobody's going anywhere nobody's really leaving their houses unless you have to but you know we we can't be sitting here every day like oh my god <laughs> you know we might die today because that that's the thing um and this is this is the, the the main thing that the the people of Hamas, the the government in in Gaza, their actual goal is to get rid of Israel. It's not that they're fighting for land. It's not that they are, you know, angry with the people because they believe certain things. They literally just want to kill Israel. They want everybody gone, destroyed. So, uh, mom. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. No, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> no worries. Uh, okay, and then I'll fix it. <laughs> Sorry, my mom wants to watch, but I have her blocked from my stories. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. 
Let me see. <laughs> Let me see how I can un. Uh, I don't even know if I can. Oh wait, are we? Re Let's record this. Oh, we can. Um, I said, "Well, I've been putting screen oh. recorder." Um, how do I unblock my? Phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's my other phone here? Okay, we'll keep going. Um, so yeah, the people of uh. Hamas, they basically want to get rid of Israel. Uh, that's it's, it's it's that simple, and and I'm not like making it up. You can you can see it. They have like a manifesto, and it says this is what we want, and one of them is to annihilate Israel. Like, bye, go away. <laughs> we want to kill you. So, wow. you know, there's it's it's a really difficult one to get people to understand that Israel is defending itself, but a lot of times the only way we can defend ourselves is you know, to attack um, the the enemy, but the enemy isn't the Palestinian people. The enemy is Hamas, the terrorist organization. And it's it's a war, so there will be casualties on on both sides. You know, I've I've not discovered a war in history where nobody died. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's it's not like a, a fun funny thing, and a, it's not like a light hearted thing. But people will die on both sides because each side is trying to achieve something. They are trying to kill us and we are trying not to die. So <laughs> basically, um, and that's how it, it's all it comes down to, like, simply, if you, if you want to say. And then you go into all of the, the issues why, I don't know if you've seen, like, everybody's, like, pro-Palestine, pro-Palestine, and, like, saying all these horrible things about Israel. The interesting thing is, is that Israel is actually trying to help the people in Gaza. They're actually trying to free them from this horrible government. So by people being against Israel, they're actually doing more damage to the people in, in Gaza because we're the only ones who are trying to help them by getting rid of their government. And they don't want their government. It's not like we're going in like, hey, we know better. We know what's good for you. They, they want our help. But the world doesn't see that because you have the, the crazy people, so the, the Hamas leader and the, the people who are pro-Hamas. So you always see them on TV, like, screaming and shouting, look what Israel did to us, all of this kind of stuff. But all those people, if they weren't there, the normal innocent people would have great lives. They would be peaceful. They would be... You know, and, and Israel wants to live side by side with them. Like they really want, you know, we don't we don't care enough about them to want to kill them. Like it's not it's not so deep. You know what I mean? Like we're not trying to do anything to anybody. So that's that's the biggest issue because in, now you see on the media um, that Israel is the bad guy because we're bombing, uh, you know, Gaza and all of this. But actually. It's kind of like, well, they started it, <laughs> but um, nobody sees that, you know. But they bombed first, no? No, we, we attacked them first, but what they did was they started a fight. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me get that back. Ah. No, they started the fight in Jerusalem. We'll go back to the beginning. What happened was there was Muslim people who were praying. It was like the last few days of Ramadan. Okay. There was a lot, a lot of Muslim people in Jerusalem, in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and they were praying. And there was a lot of the Jewish army, Jewish, Israeli army, and the Israeli police surrounding, um, my mom's trying to call, <laughs> surrounding um, the praying Muslims to protect them. Okay. Um, and then you have the Hamas supporters and the crazy Palestinians who come in started throwing rocks at the police, started throwing, um, uh, like, uh, started throwing, uh, I don't know, they were just arguing and fighting with the police. And, um, and then, cut to, they run into the mosque. The Israeli police go after them, and, you know, uh, uh, they're shooting them with rubber bullets, so it's not even, like, real bullets. Yes, it hurts, but it's not real bullets. It just, you know, hurts you. Um, and then... Uh, Hang on, I'm trying to fix this so that my mom. Come uh, on. <laughs> yeah. um, hang on. Let me see settings. I get into this uh, settings. How do I do this privacy story? 
allow five people. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She's unblocked, she's unblocked. I have to reblock them after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, after they ran into the mosque, um, then you, you only see now footage on the internet of the police running into the mosque and fighting uh, and fighting with the people. So if you, so basically the rest of the world only sees uh, the Israeli army and the police running in and attacking the, the oh, Muslims that's... who are praying, but that's not actually what happened. And unfortunately, there are no videos of um, what happened before. If there are, they've already been removed from the internet. Because I do remember seeing a few mm -hmm. videos of what happened before, but I can't now find them anywhere. So, you know, that's, that's saying something. So it's really hard to prove, prove that at the moment, that that's what happened. So after that happened, it caused a big, big riot in, in the middle of Jerusalem. So then after that, then they started sending rockets to us because you see in the media, now it looks like Israel just attacked the people at the mosque just, you know, um, for the fun of it, which it, it didn't happen. And the praying Muslims, there's a lot of... Um, stories and quotes and a lot of things from the muslims who live in jerusalem and they even say that that's what happened but nobody nobody believes that so after that then they started sending rockets to us we go back and we target the um, the leaders and then they send more rockets to us and you know it goes back and forth the different well not the difference the problem is is when they are attacking israel they are just firing rockets i mean you should see the sky it's just like you know we're looking up and we see just explosions everywhere because the israeli defense is knocking the rockets out of the sky i mean just imagine if we didn't have the defense system there was already i think a, at least three thousand rockets that have been sent in israel. like it would be over if we had no defense system there would be no israel i mean today literally one rocket landed um next to one of my best friend's houses. Literally, she could like look out the window and whew, saw uh, the rocket there. Like, you know, and I'm calling, I'm like, oh my God, are you, you, you know, you don't, it, they're targeting people. That's the thing that the world doesn't understand. They are targeting people. And um, what we are doing as, as Israel and the Israeli army is not targeting people. Yes, there have been more casualties over in the Gazan side than over in, in Israel. But there's so much that people don't understand. Um, so, <laughs> continuing. Yeah, so sure, much, sure. Like, is there's so much to say. So basically, Israel only wants to get rid of um, the weapons bases, the, the people in the terrorist people, but these terrorist people, the, um, they're actually sending all their rockets and uh, firing at us from like cities. Like they're not going to the side of the city to like a desert area and making a, a base or something and shooting from there. They're going through the cities, knocking on people's houses, saying, okay, leave. We are using this now as our rocket launcher. So now you have a rocket launcher in somebody's house. And it's shooting like hundreds of rockets at Israel. So Israel has the, the choice of, do we destroy this rocket launcher that's in a city and save our people? Or do we not destroy it, save their people, but our people die? Mm -hmm. and, and any country would choose their own people. Like, you can't tell me that any country would do anything different if, it was, if they were in that situation. The problem is... You know, Israel doesn't want to hurt the civilians. It's not like a hobby. It's not, you know, um, we mourn the deaths of the Israeli people and of the Palestinian people. It's not, we're not like over here celebrating, yay, we got another one. It's, you know, and it's, it's a tough one because people don't seem to understand this. They look, they look at us and they think, oh yeah, we're just out there going and going and going and killing people. But it's not the case. And there's even another thing where there's um, one of the Hamas, Hamas leaders. Okay, <laughs> rewind a little bit. Okay, so when Israel goes to destroy um, 
one of the buildings, mm -hmm. they will fly above the building and they will drop uh, like flyers and leaflets and it will say, on, you know, tomorrow, 7 p.m., we are destroying this building. Leave. Do not stay here. Then they will also go and on, announce on the radios, leave the place, you know, in one hour, we're, we're bombing it. They're even getting phone numbers and calling individual people and saying, please, would you leave? There's a video of a guy even answering the phone call saying, oh, you're going to be here in two hours, we need to go? Oh, okay, cool, thank you. And they go. So then you have, you know, if, if we were trying to kill people, would, would we be doing that? Do you know what I mean? Like, what kind of army is that stupid that is trying to kill a bunch of people but telling them to get out of the way? Like, it doesn't make sense. It's because we're not trying to kill them. But then you have uh, Hamas, the leaders, who I've seen so many videos that they're on the microphone making a, a speech saying, the buildings that Israel is telling you to, that telling you that we, they're going to destroy, go to that building. Go stand on that building until Allah uh, tells you to leave. And if they shoot that building down, you will die for your cause. But if you don't go to that building, we will kill you for being a traitor to your country. So what are you going to do? We've got now a building full of rockets and weapons with a, with a poor family standing on top because they don't want their weapons to be destroyed. But again, you have the choice. Do you save your country or do you save a family? It's, it's a horrible choice, these poor soldiers that they have to make, that they have to knowingly drop bombs on houses, knowing that there's people there. You know, these poor kids are traumatized and the Israeli army is full of 18 to 21 year olds. They're not fully grown men. These, these are boys. Then, you know, and they're traumatized from the age of 18 or 20 or whatever. Dropping bombs on people. And everyone thinks that, oh, Israel's enjoying it. We're not enjoying it. Like, it's not even, like, close to being fun. And the, 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 um, the reputation that Israel is getting for all of this, you know, like I said, they're, they're telling people to go stand on the buildings. If you didn't know this and you just saw Israel dropping a bomb on a building full of people, what would you think? Like, right, it looks terrible. It really, it, like, it looks terrible. We get it. We all know how it looks. But nobody's listening to the fact that this is what they are doing. And what kind of government sends their own people to die? Like, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. But we don't have a choice because we have to or choose ourselves or choose them. And like I said before, any country in a war is going to choose themselves over the other side. And it's also the reason why there is more casualties, because their government doesn't even care about their people. They care more about getting rid of Israel than they do care about their people. For example, the U.S. government, uh, Biden, sent to Gaza $235 million in this year in, in 2021, $235 million. Do you know how much money of that the people of Gaza saw? Zero. Where did the money go? On weapons, on houses in Dubai and Damascus, on BMWs, on Porsches. And these people, these leaders don't even live in the country that they are in charge of. They live in these fancy houses in like, you know, Dubai. And then they're telling their people, don't worry, we're going to have the whole country bombed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can all die. And they're taking all the money. And if you had 200, do you know how much money, what you can do with $235 million? You could build hospitals, schools, houses. If they spent all that money on actually fixing their own country, they wouldn't even need to fight Israel. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's they could actually be a happy country, a strong country and a thriving country, but they choose not to spend that money correctly because why? It makes Israel look like the bad guy. Oh, look, we're bombing this poor country that has no money. We're only in, what, May? And they've had 200, and that's only from America, 235 million. They still get money from Europe, and I didn't count how much they get from Europe. Um, plus Europe, the, uh, the EU, as well as uh, countries individually as well as charities so israel does also get a lot of money but israel puts that money towards the things that we need like 
hospitals, education, the safety, the Iron Dome that we, you know, we use to protect our people, as well as, for example, also in um, Gaza, they have no defense system. What kind of country goes to war and says, like, we, we're not going to defend ourselves, kill, kill us? And they want us to kill them, because why? It looks good on the internet. Look at us, we're being killed. Nobody's even trying to defend themselves. They're just like, okay, kill me. It's, it's like, a, it, we fight, the, the war that Israel is fighting isn't even with, uh, the, uh, it's the media. That's what we're fighting the most. And that's why you see me and Uza and a whole bunch of people, we're just every day just posting, posting, posting. Because we can't believe that people are falling for this scam. Like, it's ridiculous. But it looks good. It looks believable. If I, like I said, if I was over there in America, if I was in England, I would believe it too because it looks so convincing. But then once you hear the whole backstory, you're like, huh, maybe everything's not quite, you know, what it seems. And we're just over here, like, I have a group chat with all the dancers here in Israel. And we're literally pulling our hair out, like, every day. Like, did you see this? Did you see this? And we're just like, how are these people so stupid? And I'm sorry if any of these people are here. I'm not uh, calling anybody. Well, I am calling people stupid. But, I mean, we get it in the media. For example, the thing with the, the Black Lives Matter with George Floyd, how they put out, you know, videos looking like he was the bad guy when actually he wasn't. And... You know, if you, if you understand how the media works, um, every single group of people has, um, has their story with the media. So everybody should understand that what you see on the media isn't 100% fact. And there's always more to the story. However, when it comes to Israel and the Jewish people, nobody questions it. They just go, huh, bad guys. Why is it with, with Black Lives Matter, with you know, gay rights, all this, that, and the other, the media is lying. But when it comes to Israel, the media is telling the truth all of a sudden. Like, well, <laughs> well it's, you know, it's so, it's so tough. I don't really know, like, if this is ever going to end. Um, it, it's not going to end until, until Hamas is gone. And it doesn't look like they're going to be gone anytime soon because people keep trying to stop Israel from getting rid of them. And if they were gone, there would be peace. It, it's weird because Israel has managed to make peace with all of the surrounding countries. We've got peace with Egypt. We've got peace with Lebanon, Jordan, Syria. So it's not and us. And you're not you know? a Muslim country. It's for me yeah. so, so, I always, I remember when, even in the school, when we was like studying geography, <laughs> I look at the Israel and I'm like, wow, all of these like Muslim Arab countries, and such a small Jewish country, and I'm like, wow, like they just can all come and just like one day, no Israel, you know. But it's been for like so long, and I was always like wonder, like how Israel surrounded by all this. Just I mean, we had a lot of countries. Israel is like more open, like Europe or America. They yeah. have rules and everything. But I lived in Egypt, like I know how Muslim uh, culture works. And it's such a different thing. It's such a different it thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, oh, for sure. It's very, very different. I mean, you can't say that one is right or one is wrong. They're, you know, they have entitled to live however they want. Exactly. But yeah. if you are from, from a country where you have a, um, a democratic country, so Europe, well, not a country, but, you know, you have Europe and the Americas, and then you find Israel, who is exactly the same as the country that you exactly. live in. How is it that you think that we are doing something different to you? Like we are literally, Israel literally bases its whole existence on, on how America lives. Israel wants to be America. Sorry to all the Israelis here, but it's true. Um, Israel genuinely wants to be America, behaves like America, has all the American things, has the democracy, has all, you know, it, it's just the same. But yet you, but people still like, ah, but they're doing this, they're doing that. There's this whole thing of like um, occupation of, uh, of Gaza and of the Palestinian people. So Israel had, took a lot of land or we got given land. Some there was land. And then in 2005, there was a peace agreement that Israel would leave Gaza completely, take everybody up, pull people out from their homes. Um, you know, just said, I'm sorry, you people live here, but you're not living here anymore. We agreed with these people 
that they would have this land, we will have our land, and we will be peace. The land that, that we gave back was fully cultivated. We had schools, we had farms, we had factories, we had uh, hospitals, religious buildings, all of this. And I think it was within about six months, they had destroyed the whole thing. And then said, look, look at the land that Israel gave us. Can't do anything with it. I'm like, bro, we literally gave you everything, the means to do everything. And you destroyed it, but then show the media after you destroyed it, that Israel is just, you know, look, they're not even helping us. It's, it's, it's the, the war that we're fighting the most is the one with the media. Because for some reason, they've figured it out and we haven't <laughs> how, to, how to look like the victim. And again, the people, there are innocent people living there. We're not saying like they're all horrible, evil people. It's not, it's just their government. The people in Israel feel badly for the Palestinian people living in Gaza because they are people who are suffering. You know, we, we understand completely they are suffering, but nobody over here is saying that they're not suffering. That's not even, like, it's not even a word thing that people say. They are 100% suffering, but it's not because of Israel. There's even um, a guy who was in the UN. He's an ex-Hamas member, like an ex-terrorist group member. And he's literally saying, to the world, like begging the world, like, why are you blaming Israel? It's got nothing to do with them. Like, it's, it's us. And he's, he's literally telling this to the, like, I don't, if you believe anybody, believe him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, there's nobody else with, be with experience on both sides who knows exactly what's going on. You can't, you can't ask for a better source. Um, but the world is still blaming Israel for everything. Um, you know, and they're still sending rockets. It's, and, and the thing is, it's like Israel is a country, like we said, like, um, like, in, uh, sorry, like England, like America. Like, it's like New York. It's like London. And we've got bombs. It's not like a, a desert land that, where there's nothing here and, you, you know, sending bombs to people in tents. This is full on buildings, full on like, you know, a society that you're destroying like how how would people feel if new york was being bombed if uh, london was being bombed would they still say oh well the people who are bombing us they're um they're suffering so so let's let them bomb us they they deserve to be angry yeah sure people could be angry i mean they're angry for the wrong reasons but let people be angry but that's not an excuse to go around like bombing people and also, like I said, that the resources that they have is a lot lower because their government is stealing their money. So their rockets and stuff that they're throwing, that throwing, that they're sending over are not as powerful as what we're sending to them. But it's like they'll send over 5,000 and we'll drop five. But our five will do more damage because we actually spend our money correctly in the right places and the government isn't buying Porsche. Well, they are, but that's a whole different story. Um, <laughs> and the Palestinian, like Gaza, Gaza is the city, is the capital? Um, it's like a, no, Gaza, I don't even, it's not a country, but it's not a city. It's like an area that it's at the bottom of Israel that belongs to the Palestinian people. So it's still technically Israel, but Israel's not allowed to go in there. Israelis can't go in there. So it's like a special area. Palestinian people, and which country controls it? Palestinian people were Palestine. Their yeah. country, Palestinian people, is controlled by Ga by Hamas in Gaza. Israel has nothing to do in there. There is no Israel inside Gaza. Nobody yeah. is doing anything. They have their own government. They're allowed to live however they want. And uh, you, like, the area is very very small. It's even smaller than Israel. I was afraid that yeah. the, the area is like big, like Iran or Iraq. No. But no, it's like it's like, like a city. Small. It's like yeah. two or three cities sized. It's not, yeah. it's not big, but you know, they, they could easily live there in peace if they wanted to, but they don't want to. That's the thing. You know, you can't fight mm -hmm. with somebody that doesn't want, you can't have peace with someone that doesn't want peace. And they don't want peace. They'll, you know, they say, oh, we'll have peace when Israel is gone. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> so I have to die so that you can have like, nah. Mm, what I can <laughs> say, like, I remember even my grandma, she's very religious, Christian woman. She always said, like, um, I don't know, 
the, like those kind of predictions or whatever things she would say yeah. in the future when the war will appear on the holy land which is jerusalem that's when the third world third world war will start and that's the close to the end of the world she would always say that <laughs> it's just well, religious yeah, people yeah. think you know yeah. We have and, to ask her which war, which war. And she always would be very, very concerned about that place because, like, mm -hmm. again, um, Jerusalem, yeah, and Jesus, like, was in that area, and that's what the story said, say, and people, just religious people, Christians mostly, I know about Christians, don't know about the others, um, mm -hmm. they would always worry about the, like, they would say Holy Land and Jesus Land, there was always worry because it's like it's just like it's good land right like um god was walking yeah. there or whatever and and they just worried that someone might attack and, and this kind of things i always was growing up by kind of this <laughs> talks you know yeah. and all that stuff so i i always yeah. see i never been to israel or something but i know my my real dad is connected a little bit to Jewish. Yeah. I think he's half Jewish or whatever, but I, that's, as long as I don't know him personally, I uh, didn't have, I lose contact totally. Cannot like, so cannot find it out now. But um, for example, like his family, like grandma, I knew her, uh, she, um, like they connected to the Jewish, like some roots whatever that would always to like um uh, the, everyone who connected to Jew, uh, to jewish community or from israel or something they're always mm, open uh they're always you know clear no no lies um open uh, they have everything what they need um uh, they don't have like kind of rules you can do this and do that they, they just like live their life you know open-minded more and all that stuff so that's how i know israel i never been there um, and traveled there i just met you guys like you uza and then and F, uh, um, um, then in america i met some israeli dancers like that's how i know you guys and yeah. everyone who is from israel is just cool people nothing nothing like no, 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 no. nothing crazy you know nothing like you know just communicate well you just like just bright people doing the thing you know nothing like <laughs> no like yeah. headache or something that's it so me yeah. is like for me i purposely never watch like media or tv first of all i don't have time second of all i don't like talk about politics and involved in that because I know how they operate. It's it's not my subject, and it's um, it's not good for the humans. Just normal people who living um, their lives and trying to do truly kindly, trying to do good life and treat everyone good. Um, it, watching politics for me is not helping me to do that. <laughs> and yeah, talk, and sure. I'm very like. Uh, I, I don't want to say negative. I just don't use the politics. I try to not talk about it because I'm just getting so angry <laughs> when I start or whatever because, like, watching all these yeah. things. Like, now being in America and watching how government treating, uh, learning, really learning black people's culture and seeing all the stuff was made up by government mm, mostly. Yeah. Uh, it's heartbreaking so the same I don't like to talk to about politics so that's why I and I just saw it literally like a few days ago and I saw rockets yeah. flying to Israel and now when I say to you let's have this talk <laughs> you're like wait but everyone says Israel is bad guy I'm like okay what happened <laughs> like I even yeah. don't get it like like um, for me, that is not good a bad guy. Gaza people and Israel people just don't need to be under the circumstances in any way that's a period. Like, that yeah. shouldn't be even talk like this. There shouldn't be anything flying in the first place. No. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. I really don't care. I just care, like, 
like you guys, you know, the need to hide in the shelters. Like you guys can wake yeah. up in the morning, get your food and like go and do your thing. And Gaza people the same. They just wake up and go and do their thing. That's it. Like what they are like doing there. Uh, it's, it, I wish I, I don't need to see. I don't need to talk about it. And, you know, that's it. That's yeah. It's tough because it's not like it's just a war from today. Do you know what I mean? This thing has been going on 70 something years. It's not like, oh, today we woke up and we're angry with each other. And the war is uh, technically it's been going on for the 70 years. It just flares up and calms down and flares up and calms down. It's not like, um, you know, we're, we're cool and we're happy and oh, Oopsie! Today, now we're um, we're fighting again. But it's, it's always tense, right? All the time, like yeah. Here. I mean, closer to the border. So the more south you go, the the closer you get to those areas. You know, they're always, you know, not necessarily always receiving the rockets and stuff. But they know that any day something can happen. So who are um, bordering with? I see it's... At the moment, we have borders with Egypt. We have borders with Syria and Lebanon. I think Jordan as well. Jordan, yeah, I see Jordan too. And with all those other countries, we're all cool. Like Syria, we're not best friends with, but we have a peace agreement. So, you know, we're chilling. Um, but yeah, Lebanon on one... the north. Lebanon too, yeah? Yeah. It's just interesting because, first of all, the, the word Palestinian isn't even a real word. Well, it's a real word, but it's not a real, real thing. Because there was never a country called Palestine, ever. Exactly. Like, never... I'm like, wait, what is this country? And I, I, I don't repeat geography, but I was good in it in school. So I'm like, wait, I don't remember. What, what is this country? Is That's why I'm like asking, like, is the Palestine... Gaza... Palestine used to be like what you would say is Middle East. Uh -huh. So Palestine would include like Israel, uh, Syria, um, and Lebanon, I think it is. Three countries. So, and Israel, like what you call Israel. So this was all Palestine. Okay. And then it was 1947, 48, where England, you know, did stupid things. And they split up the countries and said, this is for you, this is for you, this is for you, and this is for you. Um, so all the people who are being called Palestinians are not just people who say that they were from Israel. They were also people who were from Syria. They're also people who were from, I think it was Lebanon, I can't remember if it's Lebanon or Jordan, one of these countries. They're also from there. However, they're only saying that the people in Israel, are the, you know, that's their home. No, their home is all over. There's not just, you know, they're all, the people who live in Gaza is not one nationality. There are a whole bunch of nationalities living together, you know, as one nationality now. But they're all coming from like different areas. So, you know, they're like, oh, you're in our land. Well, no, some of your land is actually in Syria. I don't know, like, why are you not fighting with them? Because they don't care really about the land. The fight is because we're Jewish yeah. and Israeli. It, that you know that's it they just want to get it's got nothing to, you know if it was really about land they would all go home but the funny thing is that the people who are actually living in gaza are not welcome in their own countries because they were causing problems in their own countries as well like being violent you know these are terrorist groups hamas not the palestinian people like the nice you know peaceful ones but the the, ter the terrorist group and their supporters all from all these different countries are not wanted in their different countries either. But, you know, nobody wants to welcome them in. As well as Gaza doesn't just border with Israel, it borders with Egypt as well. And even Egypt mm -hmm. is like, nope, <laughs> stay where you are. You know, these people who, the people who are living there are not good people. And I'm not talking about the civilians. I'm talking about the ones who are throwing the rockets and the rocks and doing the fighting. Like for example, this year, Israel sent, Israel, sent to Gaza like tons of concrete so that they could build hospitals and schools. Do you know what they did with that concrete? They built tunnels into Israel so they could come and kill us. We literally gave them the means to kill us because we're trying to help them. <laughs> like it's, it's ridiculous.
you know, we're, we're trying to help the poor people because they do need help. Like they genuinely need help. And we understand that the world understands that. But when we try to help them, the help doesn't even get to them. You know, we provide food, we provide water, we provide electricity. And literally, we provide their electricity. And literally yesterday or the day before, they sent a rocket specifically to the, 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 the pipeline, destroyed their own electricity for 250,000 people and blamed Israel that we're not giving them electricity. Like, dude, you just blew up the line. That's not us. But they blame us. Oh, look, see, Israel cut off the electricity. In the war in 2014, Israel was sending truckloads of food, water, aid, um, you know, medical supplies, like by, by army truck. It was sending it in. The government there destroyed all of the trucks, bombed, exploded them, and then said, look, they're not helping us. We've been here without food and water for days. So then they're just making people and their own country against the Israel. That's a, they're manipulating. They're making the whole world against Israel. Because yeah. the way it looks is that it looks like we're, we're that, being... But why I mentioned that, that, for example, people of Israel I met, like, for example, I don't watch the news. I don't do politics. I don't do all of this. But, I'm, uh, but I, there's one thing. You can see small things. And you can see just how people talk from that country or whatever uh, to figure out the way they live, kind of. Uh, and then you understand how government treats them. Does government care for them or does government is corrupted and stealing everything for themselves and leaving people just to like, you know. Uh, so mm -hmm. you know, when I mentioned that, that I know Israel and people are mad and they're like so cool and everything, it seems like it's European country, like that yeah. kind of vibe people doesn't care you know government gives everything to the people people pay people leave people do their own thing you know there's nothing like oh government doesn't give it to me and uh, it's corrupted like i pay my taxes or whatever help government takes it people doesn't receive it people unhappy people always like worry about like every day they don't have enough resources so just my point is i'm not politicians but from even seeing the people and knowing some people talking to some people i see their mentality and i know the way they live and i i i'm guessing that the government taking care of so the government doesn't have to play kind of games to you know to switch things around yeah. because you know yeah. they do what they do yeah. they open kind of government like they receive give whatever it's all regulated it's not like corrupted yeah. like Maybe I mean, it's corrupted yeah, in some way. It's not corrupted, yeah. but, but, but you know, know, we get the basic necessities, yeah. It's real democracy. Yeah, we're definitely... It's real for people. It's not like, yeah. no, like um, just on the paper, you know, because there is many countries like that. And yeah, so, so I, I, it's I, just a I'm tough sure one. that like, like for me, Israel always was peaceful. Like I know and everything. And come on, like second war. I grown up on the second war, like stories, my grandpa mm -hmm. fighting it and everything. My city was 40% Jewish and then disappeared yeah. after the second war. I, I know Jewish history very well and how Nazis wanted to destroy that everything. And now hearing again that these countries just want to destroy because it's Jewish, it's like, I'm so sad for like people, Jewish people, you know, like yeah. again, discrimination, like in America, here's Asian hate, uh, Black Lives Matter, because people like divide people by the color of their skin or their look, like that is by the religion and everything. But, but doesn't we like stay for, for peace and like, we, we, you want to be Jewish, you're Jewish, you're Muslim, you're Christian, that's all okay. You Buddha, mm -hmm. Buddhist, like you believe in Buddha, it's all okay, yeah. you know. Like, but I, I, how I see it is just governments try do these manipulations with, um, with uh, the tools they use, like media, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I probably think they just make money because that's only why would they do that and and just do some uh, some other things that's it i don't know if it's um i don't know if it's about money 
um, they just don't want Israel to exist. You know, they would just give like, up all the money in the world. Yeah, they would give up all the money in the world to make sure that Israel doesn't exist. Wow. But again, like I said, it's not the people. It's not, you know, it's not the innocent civilians. They are but the like the world is saying, the organization that... has certain plans and certain yeah. um profits kind of or um um something getting out of it. They that just maybe no, just no, getting anything them. out of it. Maybe yeah, it's just joy for basically. Them, maybe. Oh, a hundred. Yeah, it is. That's the thing. It is. It's oh, joy for them. That's terrible. Because, you know, they, they celebrate. They celebrate every time they kill someone on this side. The other day I saw on the on the news they have fireworks. Like, you don't see us doing that at all. We don't celebrate the death of anybody. Now, I will say, um, just to make it an even playing field and that I'm not just... You know, Israel is innocent, 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 because that's not the case. You know, I've had somebody bring to my attention um, in some of the Arabic cities here in Israel. Um, it's 50-50 because -50, some of them, the, the Arabic people have been attacking the Israelis. And in some of them, the Israelis have been attacking the Arabs. So there are bad Israelis. They are doing bad things, but they don't represent the whole country, just like the bad Muslims or the bad Arabs, sorry, don't represent the whole of their of course. country and culture. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, Israel, we're doing nothing. We're completely... In. No, there's people. True. And then, you know, 90% of us, are, we, we don't accept them, like, as our... That's, you know, we don't accept that. Like, that's got nothing to do with us. And we apologize, you know, if, if we know that that's happening. Like, we are sorry. We don't want that to happen. That's not who we are as a country, as a people, as, as a group. So, you know, that something, you know, saying... It, it's just really horrible because, like, I don't know if you ever know what it feels to just know that somebody just wants you dead. Not for any particular reason, just just because. You know, it's like, no. it's not like I did something to, you know, we just, these rockets are coming in, not, you know, as a friendly high five. It's like a friendly high five to the face. Like, you know, yeah. it's, 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 uh, you know, today, I don't know if you saw the video, I was driving home from teaching somewhere and the sirens went off and I had to literally ditch my car on the side of the road and run to the, um, under a bridge. And it was just like, boom, 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 boom. Whoa. And I said, yeah, like I'm looking, I'm under the bridge like this way and I look over here and it's like, boom, boom, boom. And then I'm looking over here like this and me and I'm sitting there and then I look across in front of me and there's like a family with like two kids and I'm just like I can deal with this these other people can deal with this but these poor little kids who are sitting under the you know their mom is like comforting them and there's you know bombs they don't understand what's going on like it's it's horrible it's a really horrible and situation it's democratic, democratic country, country. It's democratic country. Yeah. like like you said it's just country. like Yolanda it's just like in New York, exactly. It's just like that. It's not like when you travel to like other cultural country, like when the culture is so close and so like, you know, so different and they stick to it and, you know, it's just like open, you know, it's okay. And here someone's bombing you. Like, you yeah. know, it's... For no other reason than, than you know, then... And like I said before, it's not about all the things that, you know, people saying, like, in, for example, in the media, it says that we are oh, trying to kill them. It's okay, it's morning for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we're trying to kill them, we're taking their land, we're kicking them out of Israel. These are all the reasons that they are fighting us. This, none of them are the reasons why they are sending the rockets to Israel. Those are excuses to start doing the rockets, but those are none of them are the reasons. The only reason is they want us dead. End of, and you can't make peace with that. It's not like we want this and then the other group says, we want this, let's come to a compromise. How do you compromise with we want you dead and we don't want to die? What is the compromise there? <laughs> like there, there is none. And this is so, the reason why there's never gonna be peace. So how is the life now? Like how, how are you living guys? How, how are people, like living now and it's been what it's weird week? it's a week now uh, like four or five days it's 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 weird 
because most of the focus of the rockets and the bombs is towards the south in two cities called Ashkelon and Ashdod. They are getting hammered and it's like heartbreaking. So the people who live a little bit more north, we're having slightly more normal life, but then all of a sudden it'll come to the center. And the, the funny thing about uh, all these situations that we've had before with these like war type situations is that all the cities get bombed or like rockets sent to them. Uh, and it happens, you know, every now and then. But it, it's only serious <laughs> once it gets to Tel Aviv, because you know that once it gets to Tel Aviv, they really are trying to piss us off. The other cities, it's like building up. And it's not to take away uh, the people in the other cities. But once you get to Tel Aviv, that's like London. That's like New York. It's not like, you know, a little village here, a little village there, or a city or a town. You're going for like the, where all the, um, what do you call it? What's the thing called? The money, uh, the stock market. The, you know, all, you're going for the heart of the country. And that's what happens. They, they, they're shooting around the bottom. So, you know, we're, we're pissed because it's still our country. But then you'll get like a day like today when they just went for the center. And, and that's, you know, we're kind of, and it makes it difficult to live because in the center we think, oh, it's fine. They haven't bombed us for like a day. Maybe they're not going to, maybe they're going to focus round on the bottom and then you just hear sirens, sirens, sirens. And today we had like, I don't even know, it was like half an hour of just bomb, 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 bomb. It would be like a siren. Yeah, like my parents here in, in the house, we're a little bit lower, uh, more south than the center, but we're still like center area. My parents, they went into the bomb shelter in the house from the first sirens and they sat in there for like 15 minutes and they were like, okay, the last the siren was like, you know, what, 10 minutes ago, it's time to leave. Because you're supposed to wait a little bit just in case. Um, of course. Just in case. Um, and the minute they left, sirens go back in. And it happened like a few times. We're like, okay, time to go back to life. And nope, get back. I have so many like, it's not funny, but it is because it's like, okay, it's the so minute crazy. you say like, it's fine. <laughs> it's like right back in, into the shelter. It's been an experience, you know, I'll never forget this <laughs> now or back in 2014. Cause you know, the last one was six years ago, like the last big one we've had you know, a few, I mean, I've been in China the last uh, four or five years. So if things have happened, I haven't really been there for that. Um, we've had other things as well, like the tunnels where people, where they built the tunnels to come under Israel and they were coming in like in groups with knives and just like tunnels were coming up inside people's houses and they would just open and just start like stabbing and shooting people and then go back in and run back. You can't tell me that that's, you know, um, a civilized war. That's personal. Do you know what I mean? That's not just, and you don't see, you know, when have you heard of like Israeli suicide bombers or Israeli terrorists or Israeli, like any, anything violent? You've never heard anyone from Israel doing anything violent ever, but you've heard other people doing many, many, many violent things. Yet for some reason, Israel's, the, the bad guy, like, you know, if you were to sit next to one or the other, where would you feel more safe? And it's unfortunate to, to say that. I don't want to say that because that is like bordering on Islamophobia, which I, you know, I don't agree with either. I don't wish anybody to be horrible to Muslim people because they're just people too. They all want to just live in peace. But based on history, the majority of people who have caused trouble, who have caused issues in other countries around the world. But yet it seems like Israel is more likely to do, like, come on. Do you know what I mean? Like, what about, yeah. What about shelters guys? Do you have like many of them? It's everywhere or how, how it is? What is this? Um, well, I don't know how recent it is, but the newer houses that are being built all have to be built with a safe room. Like there's one room in every house that is steel reinforced. 
there's a like a window that you have to close with like it's like metal oh, steel really? door you're like wow yeah it's it's so funny because cool the door guy. it's like a yeah like the door is like a really heavy door so every time we go into the shelter we close the door and you can hear the whole building like choom, 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 choom. like it's that heavy like you can hear and we're saying like we're sitting in the shelter and you'll hear the door go like oh the people upstairs have gone out so i, th I guess it's safe to leave like <laughs> it's <laughs> you know it's, it's not funny but it's funny yeah we've got snacks in there and stuff i mean you're not really in there for a long long time maximum like half an hour but you know we've got snacks we've got a bed we've got the problem is it's very difficult to be in there because the room is a metal box in the middle of the middle east you know it's very hot and uh stuffy who is this unique yes but it was it was different arabs but i i, I do agree <laughs> um <laughs> sorry re replying to to yeah, this guy but um that's so cool and meaning you say they upstairs meaning in the every floor they have a shelter every floor it's in your house so my dad it's his office um yeah it's, it's a normal room except that it's like inside the wall it's like metal you have regular wall and it's like a bunch of metal sheets to like yeah. make it really thick. and if, for example bomb hits it so it will not destroy them metal and what it will just no. all, all this shot it will just fall. fall down and it like, might you know dent it or something but it, it shouldn't you know it shouldn't come in it'll it'll go down but if it hits anywhere else in the building that building is gone and that's the rule for israel and homes to have one for now yeah so in the recent i guess the recent like 10 years of building oh. but in the past you had to go to your stairs so everybody from all the apartment buildings would leave the house and everybody would meet in the stairs. Like, not you don't have to go down, just in the stair area because that whole area is, like, um, more secure. Oh. Yeah. It's, like, um, the safest place. It's still not, you know, the best, but it's the, it's the safest place. When I lived, when I was back here in Israel in 2014, I had, a, like, a, an apartment, but it was only two apartments. And it was a very, very old building. And in the stair area... It was just windows everywhere, so I was just like, "Okay, great." <laughs> <laughs> Where do I go now? <laughs> it's kind of like looking around, like, "Well, if it's my time, it's my time. What can I do?" Um, yeah, I mean, I have, you know, everybody has like funny stories about where they were when they heard the sirens and stuff. I remember the first time back in 2014. I didn't speak very good Hebrew. I'd only, you know, just been there a few years. I didn't have a TV, so I wasn't watching the news. I wasn't listening to the, I wasn't, I didn't know that there was a war happening. Like I knew nothing. Which year? All of Which a sudden, year? 2014. There was a war was, in Israel? Yeah. Mm -hmm, there's a war every like whatever years. Yeah. So what? in 2014. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new. years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. And there's still been like little ones. With but whom? not to be said. With whom there was a war? The same people. The same people. We haven't had problems with the other people for a long time um but the same ones in gaza so uh yeah i remember it was 2014 i didn't know anything was going on and it was hot middle of july or something like this so i'm sleeping sleeping completely naked like it's hot 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 i get woken up at like 3 a.m the sirens like Woo! i'm like what is happening i didn't understand by the time i realized what was going on put some clothes on it was already finished I was like, okay, well, this is great. <laughs> like, the, the alarm was I'm like, oh, oops. So now, you know, I have a special dress, like a maxi dress that I have next to the bed. So that if at 3 a.m. something happens, I just out the door. Wow. You know? Wow. But how bad is that? That That's I have so to have normal. like a bomb shelter clothing. Like I have to be prepared. Wow. Like it's, hor it's, it's funny, but it's horrible, you know? You have to make jokes of the situation, you know? I've seen, like, memes of stuff. Wow. Yeah, That's... I've seen, like, all these memes of, like, people running to, like, bomb shelters and somebody, like, stopping, like, have you been vaccinated? Because, like, what is the worst? Like, it's, it's a joke, but at, at this moment, you have to choose which war are you fighting. Are we fighting COVID or are we fighting, you know, bombs? Which one, which one would you like? That's so crazy. <laughs> you know? I live <laughs> in so bit. many places, but I never had the bomb shelters in my place or something. Come to Israel. Well. <laughs> come, come, come enjoy. I Join the fun. To, I want to go to <laughs> Jerusalem. Yeah. No, it, you know, it's, um, 
I want. You're lucky because Jerusalem won't ever be the target of any bombing because it belongs to so many religious groups that even if the rest of Israel gets destroyed, Jerusalem will still be there because it's important to so many people. So, oh, yeah. That's And possible. people will get yeah. pissed if someone touch that. People yeah, will... exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So, but, so, yeah. what, so what is the prediction like meaning like how long it will be? What 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 um, will happen? My prediction is another week or two. Um based on what's going on because from what I understand is that the the people in Gaza, the Hamas have already asked for a ceasefire. They've already asked for us to stop. It's kind of like they came at us throwing rocks and then they said, "Oops, we made a mistake. We don't want this anymore." And it's like, "Well, you started it, so we're going to finish it." And Israel has basically said, "We're not going to accept the ceasefire until you stop firing." So the minute and I can tell you this that it's always them first because I can I can even prove it whenever there's um rockets I always hear the rockets first and then the planes going there. I never hear the planes before the rockets. So it means that they are shooting first and we are going back and responding. <laughs> Literally you're hearing the, the fighter jets going over the your houses. Going. <laughs> it's a crazy uh, crazy world, but it, it's just proof that they are always attacking first and we are responding. If they don't send a rocket, we won't send our planes to bomb them. Like it's literally that simple. If they stopped, we would stop. So we're just waiting, you know, our, the prime minister said we're on we will only stop if you stop. So we're just waiting. And like I said, Israel is not firing first. We're always responding. It's just unfortunate or fortunate that Israel has stronger power. So it looks like we're doing more damage. We have one bomb that will do the damage of like 100 of theirs. But they're still sending 100. <laughs> which you know, like the intent is completely different. Their intent is to get rid of us and our intent is to stop them from getting rid of us. Aww. But yeah. And that's that's the hard thing. There's the world that doesn't really understand that that's what's happening. It just looks yeah. like how I explained to you with the media. It just looks like we're just Yeah, I wish yeah. Yeah. I wish Jewish people can be just leave left alone. Left alone. So <laughs> like, please. Because yeah, when people convert to Judaism, I'm like, why? Why do you want this for yourself? Like, dude, yeah. stay away. <laughs> Because uh, I don't know, I'm kid of the war, you know, <laughs> not kid, like I'm um heritage of the this world war, yeah. both of them. And mm -hmm. and this story is and you know, like my grandma got killed in the war and everything, you know, like oh, every family in Europe connected to the war. Oh, for and sure. Holocaust and all this bullshit, and it's always not the people. So, and mm -hmm. especially not Jewish, like not Jewish people. You know, Jewish people was just slaving, and these Nazis just want to wipe them out. You know, like for no reason, mm -hmm. like no apparent reason. Just I don't know. And now when I hear like it's just like a hate kind of thing that mm -hmm. doesn't like get anything and everything it's like so pointless like to me like why why would you need to do that and everything so i just really yeah. hope you guys like stay safe because it's crazy like it's 21st century and it's like open country people open-minded mm -hmm. everything is like like open like european or american or whatever and some rock is flying in the sky and you're hiding in shelters it's like heck yeah. <laughs> like, what you know basically i mean we're like hey you what <laughs> like yeah. leave us alone. genuinely we're just like leave us alone yeah i mean they have they you get they yourself have, busy uh, you know with the real thing uh -huh. you know stuff. but that's that's also another thing if they kept themselves busy by looking after their own people Life would be great, It's but they're not. Because... Criminals in the government of theirs, I think. Yeah, the government. So... I mean, we had a, a prime minister. Her name was Golda Meir. She was, you know, back back in the day, and she said that the day that there will be peace is the day when they love their children more than they hate us. Talk, talking about Israel, and she's right. So you know, for me, it's so crazy right. to hear the people like hating just because of religious thing or whatever like it's yeah 
I can't understand. It's a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. And it's never going to be over. You know, people always talk about, you know, when will there be? Never. <laughs> you can't. You can't have peace with people that don't want peace. That It's just that simple. And so as a country, Israel needs to figure out, you know, how to just survive. Yeah. And, do, you know, we, we, we're happy for those years when nothing's happening, you know, but we know that that doesn't last forever. We know, because like I just wow. said, we had one six years ago. We know that any moment something could happen. Wow. And, That's you know, awesome. tensions were rising, you know, um, wow. and we're just... And before 2014, yeah. did you ha when, when did you have a war or something? Oof, this I don't know, but when did we not have a war should be the question oh, that you're wow. asking. <laughs> um, I didn't know that. So, yeah, I know we yes. had a, a war in 1967, and then we had another war in 1970-something, and then, let me see, our Google. No, no, Google. it's okay, I'll search for it, it's okay, no worries. Anyways, um, I have a class, so I have okay. to call, and like Sounds an hour, good. but yeah, I will research it, because actually, I didn't know that, I didn't know yeah. that, oh, someone is writing like 1987, wow, I didn't know, but... That's definitely we've been, something new for we've me. Been white, that. We've been fighting this war here in Israel ever since we came to Israel, since the Holocaust. We got here in 1948, or 43, 48, wait, 38, 45, 1945, we got here. And ever since then, we've been just fighting to keep our, our place. Oh, so Jewish people wasn't like long time there just all after the war no it's not quite that this is the discuss this is the argument that's okay. happening um i need to learn yeah. the history now okay yeah I so this basically <laughs> there's always been yeah there's always been jews living in israel always there's you know i mean there's been moments back back in history with like the ottoman empire and all of this but in the recent years there's always been jews living in israel it's just that more jews came oh and then when England split up the countries, that's when the fighting started. So Jews and uh, the, the, I guess the Muslims, we were all living together side by side for a very long time until England came along and <laughs> my country is always doing great things. <laughs> my country is always doing great things, you know, <laughs> coming to America, wiping out the whole country, going to India, killing everybody, separating <laughs> the countries in in the Middle East. Right. Um, you are welcome, world. <laughs> yeah. Did, you know, we're in the whole world. Yeah. What like, is happening? Like European yeah. people, like like Britain, yes, Spain, and all that. Like that was all the time doing it to the whole wo world. Like to they went to Asia, separate the things, colonize people, whatever. You know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. So, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, we'll be Just fine. Stay It'll safe. Be yeah. Let's stay yeah. safe and let's catch up. Like, let's stay connected. See what will happen. Well, I will say one thing that tomorrow is actually a Jewish holiday. So we are expecting there to be a lot of uh, bombs. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. Oh, yeah, we had the Yom Kippur War in 1960 something or seven. I oh, don't know the dates, but. They pick. They always pick the days when we are celebrating or something. You know, serious days. Just because of whatever they love you too much, <laughs> they want to give you yeah. like best presents. Here's a present. <laughs> Me, here's some fireworks. Yeah, here's fireworks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Basically. Okay. But yeah. Please just stay well, safe. Uh, yeah, how's it going? How's Uza? How's uh, she's good. She's living closer to the center, so we're not. She's in the center, actually. So she's getting a little bit but worse than I am. But yeah, 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 we, we speak a lot right. at the moment. Yeah, okay. she's fine. I'm fine. You know, we're good. But yeah. Yeah, it was great. Safe. Having, yeah. yeah, it was great having this chat with you. I'm glad yeah. you uh, wanted too. to really? find out everything. <laughs> I'm, but yeah. I'm now no more, you know. I, I purposely will not watch any news or something. It doesn't matter for me. Just like what happened maybe or whatever. But no, like those yeah. kind of opinions. I will definitely get into history more of Israel uh, to like know more. Like, because really, like, ah, I didn't know those things about the shelter yes. homes being like normal thing. And 
being yeah. like attacked in regular basis is like normal thing for me it's not normal and i didn't know that wow mm-hmm. that's something yeah. new. so thanks for your time to and information <laughs> no so, yeah, problem um, just stay safe and let's get in contact definitely and say hi to chris okay for me. <laughs> okay for sure no, for sure no, all right bye okay, i see you bye take care okay see you soon bye bye